<clears throat> so, rolling down the front stretch, ladies and gentlemen, these are the Whitesboro Plow Shop Dirt Car 358 Small Block Modified. 25 laps will be the distance for the sportsman cars here this evening. 27 cars called out for tonight's feature. This is the way they are going to go. Inside, row number one out of Edwards, New York. Driver, the number 29, Jay. That is Jeff Sykes. And on the outside, out of Chippewa Bay. Driver, the 24H. That is Andy Howard. Luke Fuller's number 74 out of Governor. Sits inside row number two. Outside him out of Potsdam. Driver, the 45R. That is Preston Forbes. Third row to the inside out of Brownville, New York. Driver, the 27W. That is Nick Webb. And on the outside, the 31 out of Theresa. That is Lance Willix. Ryan Bartlett, the Belleville Bullet, will start inside row number four. And outside him out of Bessus, New York. That'll be Jack Gill in the number 60. Jordan McCready out of Watertown. The number 28 will start inside row number five on the outside out of Carthage, New York. Driver, the number nine. That is Tyler Meeks. Scott Webb out of Watertown. The 18W sits inside row number six. And on the outside will be George Foley in the number 34 machine. The number 19 of Tim Fuller sits inside row number seven. Outside him, that'll be Billy Dunn in the 49. The 21 of Taylor Caprera and Dan Bashar's number 36B will make up row number 8. Row number 9, Sean Shaw, the 7S, and Derek Webb, the number 66W. In row number 10, R.J. Tressa, the 21JR, will be on the inside. Outside him, that'll be Cameron Black in the 23L. Zach Aubertine's number 24, and Joel Hall, the 29J, will make up row number 11. Row number 12, that will be Matt Woodruff, number 55, on the inside. Mike Mandigo will go on the outside in the 26M. The Tommy Jock Jr., number 31, JR, will start inside row number 13. Outside him, that'll be Glenn Forward in the 24-hour. And rounding out the field will be the number 25 of George Sanford. Well, folks, pay your attention down to the flag stand. We have a special guest flagger for this race. That is Kinley Wren. Kinley Wren is going to start your modified feature here tonight. Small block modified here at the k and Speedway. 25 laps will be the distance. Whitesboro Plow Shop, dirt car, 358 modified. Green means go! Down to turn number three and four for the first time. Right off the front row, Jeff Sykes, the Conklin Insurance number 29, looks to be your early leader. He'll go down into turn number one and two. Luke Fuller's going to drive up to the number two spot in the 74 hour. He'll come to the bottom of the racetrack. Off turn number two, down the back stretch. Here comes the Nick Webb, number 27. Webb drives up to spot number three. He's got Jordan McCready in tow as they swing into turn number four. McCready is the first car to step out of line. He'll go to the top side of the racetrack as they work off turn number four down the front stretch. He'll go to the outside of the 31 of Lance Wilkes and the 21 of Andy Howard to the outside. And here comes the number 39 of Ryan Bartlett, bottom of the racetrack. There's the McCready, number 28, down the back stretch. He'll slide underneath the 45 hour of Preston Forbes out of Potsdam, New York, as he tries to close in. Andy Howard up the hill one more time, down the front stretch. A good look as they come right into your living room here on the Dirt Track Digest.tv. Field works to turn number two, Jack Gills, number 60, out in front of the Scott Webb, number 18, W. Billy Dunn, right now, side by side with the 19 of Tim Fuller. These are the two guys separated by four points at the top of the heat in the modified division. Fuller goes to the outside of the speedway, Dunn to the bottom of the racetrack. Fuller's going to get a good run right now. Those are the class of the field for the 2021 season, and they're three wide over at turn number two. Dunn to the bottom of the racetrack. He'll go right down the back stretch. Howard to meet in the sandwich. Tim Fuller drives it to the outside of turn number three. Fuller and Dunn. Here is a battle within a battle as they work off turn number four down the front stretch. Trying to work their way towards the front of the field. Billy Dunn's going to get out in front of Tim Fuller. They work off turn number two. One car around. That is Sean Shaw, the 7S. The SNS Enterprises ride. He is going to get twisted around in the not turn number two and caution flag is going to come out. Five laps are complete. Action done with a six point point lead as we get ready to go back to green in a hurry off turn number four.
Boy, those guys were hustling to the green flag that time as they were hitting on the hammer before they got into turn number three. Down the back stretch, they will head into turn number three and four. Billy Dunn did a masterful job picking up a couple of spots as he went to the outside of the speedway off turn number four. He'll come down the front stretch. Lance Willis now goes outside. Preston Forbes takes the spot away. That 74 of Luke Fuller gets shuffled up the hill. Here comes the number 60 of Jack Gill right through the middle. Jordan McCready goes to the bottom of the racetrack. He'll get underneath the Ryan Bartlett, number 39, down the back stretch. So McCready's going to pick up a stop. Bartlett's going to get into the back side of him. And they're going to end up with a pile up over in turn number four. Ryan Bartlett trying to get the nose under the Jordan McCready, number 28. They made contact, and the 28 of Jordan McCready is going to go around in a heartbeat over in turn number three and four, and then that's going to collect a couple of more cars as they went out of the pack. He got into the back corner of Jordan McCready, took him around, and that was the reason for the caution. And now we got guys jumping all over the place over here. So an ugly restart right there. We'll get them all lined back up again. We had to restart that last time, so immediately no start, and we'll try it one more time. Jeff Sykes, your leader. Nick Webb outside him as they go to turn number three and four. Sykes pounds the throttle. Now we go back to green off turn number four. Billy Dunn went to the extreme bottom, hopped the track tire there, went up the hill. Lance Willis going to drive right back underneath them. Now there goes Tim Fuller to the outside of the speedway. Fuller around the top side, Dunn down to the bottom as they work off turn number four. Down the front stretch, Fuller went way up the hill. Now a couple of cars together over in turn number three and four. Caution flag is going to come out again. And that is Ryan Bartlett and Jordan McCready for the second time tonight getting together. And they are hooked together now over at the bottom of the speedway. So caution flag immediately flying one more time in the Whitesboro Plow Shop Dirt Card 358 modified feature here tonight. Thirty-nine. So single file restart off turn number four. Green flag is in the air. Off turn number two, they're going to go down the back stretch again. Jeff Sykes out in front of the field. Here comes Billy Dunn to the outside. Dunn trying to pick up a couple of more spots. Shot to the outside of Luke Fuller. Went way to the top side of the speedway. He'll come by Fuller down the front stretch. Fuller held the spot at the line. Lance Willis down to the bottom. Dunn off the top side. Off turn number two. Gets a car between himself and Fuller down the back stretch. Lance Willis to the extreme outside the 31 machine. Dunn's going to work through the outside. Now as Willis comes back to the bottom, Dunn goes to the extreme outside. Willick slides underneath them off turn number four down the front stretch. They will go. Dunn still trying to get a nose back out in front. They'll work off turn number two down the back stretch. They will dance. Right now, the Theresa Redemption Center, number 31. Out of Theresa, New York, that is Lance Willick trying to hold on to spot number four as he gets back in front of Billy Dunn, number 49. Then Luke Fuller's the GNR Auto Parts, number 74, side by side with Timmy Fuller for the, the St. Lawrence Radiology GNR Auto ride out of Governor works down the back side. I should say out of Edwards North goes to the back side. He'll work outside Fuller down into turn at number three and four. Fuller and Fuller Law Insurance right now off turn number four down the front side. Luke Fuller able to hold him off down to turn at number one and two. That battle right now for the number three spot. Lance Willis continues to battle off a hard charging Billy Dunn down into turn at number three. Meanwhile, this takes place about a tenth of a second behind the first two cars. That is the number 29 of Jeff Sykes, followed by the 27 of Nick Webb as they work off turn number two down the back stretch. Sykes gets a beautiful run down into turn number three. Dunn continues to hold the four spot. Fifth is Luke Fuller. Sixth is uh, Timmy Fuller. Followed by the 18W of Scott Webb as they come off the north end of the racetrack. Back up front, 
This the battle for the third spot continues between Lance Willis to number 31 and Billy Dunn's number 49. Willis gets a good run off the bottom of the speedway, able to pull down the backstretch as your leaders work down into turn number three and four. Nick Webb begins to close the gap on your leader of Jeff Sykes. Sykes down to turn number one and two. The difference is about a half a second between your leader and second place. Nick Webb down the backstretch. Webb trying to close that gap. Dunn back to the number three spot as he will get out in front of the Lance Willicks fight. Here's that battle shaving up front of the field. Nick Webb starting to eat away at that lead of Jeff Sykes down into turn number one and two. Sykes trying to score his first feature win in a couple of seasons here at can -Am. Nick Webb looking for win number one in the Mark Webb Motorsports number 27. Out in front of the field, they will head down to turn number three and four. Billy Dunn trying to close up on these two as they come off turn number four. Then it's Lance Willis to 31, followed by the number 74 of Luke Fuller. Tim Fuller chases him into turn number one and two. Then it's the number 18 of Scott Webb, followed by Taylor Cabrera in the number 21. George Foley's number 34. Cameron Black's 23, the 24 of Zach Aubertine. Matt Woodruff's number 55, the 66 of Derek Webb, the 7 of Sean Shaw, the number 60 of Jack Gill, the 29 of Joel Hall, the 39 of Ryan Bartlett, the 21 of RJ Tressler, the 28 of Jordan McCready, and that's the way they go through the field. Back up front, our leaders are looking right at the back of the field right now. Lab traffic is going to come into play here. And this is going to see who separates it as they get to it right now. The lead is down to .7 seconds for Jeff Sykes out in front of Nick Webb's number 27. And here comes Billy Dunn down into turn number three and four. Lab traffic sitting right in front of your leaders. They come off the north end of the racetrack. Down to turn number one and two, Tommy Jock Jr. in gonna go a lap down here to the number 29 of Jeff Sykes. Sykes have to be careful though, with Nick Webb chasing him down the backstretch into turn number three. Sykes gets to the back of the slower car, comes to the bottom of the racetrack. Nick Webb tries to square it off one half groove higher as he come off turn number four down the front. They'll go down into turn number three and four. Sykes bottom of the racetrack. Webb right on his back bumper and here comes the 49 of Billy Dunn. Dunn trying to increase his Point lead over the number 19 of Tim Fuller down to turn number three and four. Sykes trying to hold him off as they come off turn number four. Nick Webb again squares it to the bottom of slow car down the front stretch. That is Andy Howard's number 21. Howard not able to clear the speedway. He's going to roll to a stop right down here in front of the flag stand. Caution flag is going to come out onto the speedway. our auto parts number 21 as we get ready to go back to green down to turn number three and four Sykes pounds the throttle he'll bring the team down the front stretch Boy, Tim Fuller took advantage on this restart. He went to the outside, went right by Billy Dunn in that number 49. Fuller up to the third spot as they work off turn at number three and four. Nick Webb to the bottom as he tries to look underneath the Jeff Sykes number 29. Jay Sykes going to hold him off down to turn number one and two. And then it continues to be the... Uh, 49 of Billy Dunn looks to the inside of Timmy Fuller down the back stretch. Battle as they head into turn number three and four. Webb trying to hold him off. Dunn right back to the inside of the racetrack. Fuller goes to the top side. Fuller trying to get around the outside of the Nick Webb number 27 as they go down to turn number one and two. Fuller squares it off. Now here comes Lance Willicks right back to the inside of the 31 machine. Willicks goes to the bottom. He'll take the spot away from Billy Dunn. They head down to turn number three and four. Nick Webb trying to hold off Tim Fuller. That's the battle for the number two spot. Fuller able to slip by on the outside off turn number four. Down the front stretch, they will go parallel flags around. Just four more, two more trips around, I should say, as they work off turn number two. Nick Webb right back to the inside. Powers down the back stretch. Number 27, the young man going after the veteran right now into turn number three and four. Fuller trying to hold him off. There comes Billy Dunn to the outside. White flag is waving. Jeff Sykes, it's been a long time since he has visited Victory Lane here at KM. He's got two more turns of the wheel off turn number two and a four car advantage down the back stretch. They go to turn number three and four for the final time. Sykes right through the middle of Speedway. The Conklin Insurance ride out of Edwards, New York. Here comes Jeff Sykes. He's going to score the win. 
Jeff Sykes is going to pick up the win. Timmy Fuller is going to be second. The third spot will belong to Nick Webb in the 27. Billy Dunn's going to come home fourth. Lance Willix finishes in the fifth spot. He'll be followed by Luke Fuller. Taylor Cabrera comes home seventh. Nick Webb eighth. Ninth is George Foley. Zach Aubertine going to round out the top ten. He'll be followed by Jackson Gill, Cameron Black, Derek Webb, Matt Woodruff, Sean Shaw, Ryan Bartlett, Joel Hall, Dan Bouchard, R.J. Tresseter, Tommy Jock Jr., then it's Glenn Forward, Andy Howard, Jordan McCready, Preston Forbes, Mike Mandigo, Tyler Meeks, and George Sanford. Well, folks, I'm going to tell you, one of the quietest guys you're ever going to meet before he climbs inside a race car, and one of the nicest guys you'll ever hang out with in the pit area. Kind of a quiet, silent guy. Been a long time since this guy's visited Victory Lane here at the can -Am Speedway. Tonight he's going to do it in the Conklin Insurance D&D &D Construction number 29J. Taking a second, get everything off inside the race car. Here comes a happy camper out of the backside. Your modified feature winner, here's Jeff Sykes! Jeff, congratulations, man, I tell you. Every so often, you know, you just surprise us, you come out, and you put this thing back in victory lane. Yeah, it was... Uh... It was a, definitely a team effort. I mean, I've had a unbelievable summer. Uh, we popped the motor at Fulton. We blew the rear end last week, and we were ready to pack it up. But uh, my family came together. I mean, I got to thank a ton of people. Uh, my mom, my dad, my stepdad, my brother, my sister. Oh my God, Mike, uh, Mike Hillenbrand at CNM uh, Quick Lube, uh, Dan Rhodes at D and D Construction, uh, Will Glass. I mean, it's. It's been crazy. We bought out Conklin this year, and uh, this is all mine now. So it's been uh, kind of a dream come true. We finally beat the Fuller and uh, Duncar. Yeah, you had a couple of fast guys. They were chasing right there at the end, but you were able to keep this thing together. You guys drove a phenomenal race, and the car really looked, especially on that last restart, like you really had what you needed. Well, uh, I'll probably get a uh, rag for it, but, I mean, I keep starting on a pole, and uh, I want to start back in 10th and beat these guys, but, I mean, it's – I'm not going to say it's easy, but uh, starting first is uh, definitely uh, a pretty uh, lot. It doesn't matter where you start here. It's a tough field to beat. It's uh, very tough, uh, very tough. I mean, uh, I looked at the board, and I'm like, oh, well, here they come. I said, okay. but, uh, you know, it held together, and uh, like I said, it's been a, it's been a really, really uh, tough season. Uh, but uh, we're plugging away, running Fulton every week, and we're getting better and better. Uh, so just can't wait for uh, the end of the year now. Yeah, and I'll tell you, that's a long time. You used to put this thing in victory lane a lot, and you're back here once again. Yeah, it uh, feels pretty good, so we'll, maybe next week. All right, congratulations. Jeff Sykes is going to be your Whitesboro Ball Shop Dirt Car 358 Modified Winner. Well, Paisley is down here. She's going to get her picture taken with our winner. She's going to present the trophy to Jeff Sykes for the Whitesboro Plow Shop Dirt Car 358 modified win here this evening.